Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get Lincoln Navigator key replacement in case you lost all your keys or just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over key replacement cost, types of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Before we start, we would really appreciate if you can like this video and of course if you need any help you can contact us 24-7 and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. So, Lincoln Navigator has two types of keys. One is a key fob or a push to start option. You get into the vehicle, you push the start button and the car is on. The other option is a regular ignition which you actually have to put the key in the ignition and turn to start the vehicle. Let's go over each option. For the push to start option, we have two keys. Uh, first, between 2018 and 2021, we have a key fob with part number M like Mary, 3 N like Nancy, A like an apple, 2, C like cat, 940780. And for 2014 until 2017, we have a key fob with part number 164R8094. Both of these key fob must be coded on site with a spatial machine. For Lincoln Navigator with a regular ignition, we have three transponder keys. For 2018, 19 and 2020, we have a key with part number 164R8128. Between 2003 and 2017, we have a transponder key with part number H92PT. And between 1998 and 2002, we have a key with part number H72PT. All of these keys must be coded on site with a spatial machine as well. Now, uh, important note, Lincoln Navigator models older than 1998 use a transponder key H75. Uh, we suggest you contact a mechanic in case you need a replacement key for uh, older models. Now it's time for tip number one. There are many different key fobs and transponder keys that look exactly the same. However, they have a different chip value inside them. And if you get the wrong key, you get the wrong chip wrong chip and you will not be able to start the vehicle. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year make and model of your car or the VIN number and the type of key you add. For example 2021 Lincoln Navigator push to start or key fob. Now let's go over a Lincoln Navigator key replacement cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies, depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut and program it for you. Second, call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key and code it on site. And third, tow the car to the dealer. Let's start with the key fob. Online depends on the key fob. You can get it for about uh, 40 to 70 dollars and including cutting and coding about 260 to 300. A locksmith should charge you about 300 as well for on-site service at your location and a dealer 360. For the transponder key you should pay online about 15 dollars and a total uh, of 180. A locksmith should charge you about 200 for on-site service at your location and the dealer about 280. The following is very important to remember. While some keys can be coded without a spatial machine, it is not the case here. Therefore, if you decide to buy a key online, you will have to contact either the locksmith or dealer to do it for you. You cannot do it yourself. Before we continue, a quick word about a spare set. Making an additional key when you already have a working key is much cheaper and faster. Therefore, we highly recommend getting two keys in case you lose all your keys, as the second key should cost less than half. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. 
First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day, and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it. Don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. For more great tips, you can visit our blog post about car key replacement cost. That's it. I hope you liked this video and would really appreciate if you can give us um, the thumbs up. And thanks a lot for watching.